Hello everyone. Now I was streaming Gran Turismo 7 and I put ceramic brakes on my car. And people in chat said that was a waste of money. Ceramic brakes are useless. And I refuse to believe them or you if you're watching this video. Because this is an extreme part in the Gran Turismo 7 tuning shop. And I refuse to believe that it's useless. Because these credits can take a while to get. It's an expensive part. And they damn better perform like the best brakes in the game. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say, but I wanted to try this out. So what we're going to do is going to buy two Dodge Hellcats stock from brand new from the brand shop. And the red one is going to be the car that we use our ceramic brakes. Now, if you go here, it's in the extreme section. If you read the description, they say it talks about top notch braking power. So I'm expecting peak performance, the best brakes in the game. Surely these brakes are going to stop us in the shortest amount of time. Let me know in the comments, by the way, if you've been buying ceramic brakes, because we're going to find out if they're any good or not. We're going to compare them to the racing brakes. So here we go. Special Stage Route X. By the way, I've n I know I've blown out the exposure. It's massively hot in the UK right now. I'm sweating. Um, let's just roll with the hot vibe. <laughs> so that's Special Stage Route X. And to make sure there's no variables, we're going to do this. I'm going to shift up to eighth gear immediately. And we're going to brake at the 1000 meter line. And we're going to see how long it takes to brake. And we're going to have the same wind direction for all the runs uh, within a, a margin tolerance. So it should be very, very, very equal. So we've got the Sarai brakes on approaching the 100 meter, 1000 meter line. Here we go. We're going to brake 160 miles an hour just before the line, by the way. So we can check this is all equal. And we're going to brake now. And then we'll look back in the reverse view of third camera, third person camera and see where we stopped. So if we look back, we can see the line, the 1,200 meter line kind of goes up around the top of the windshield. So I did it again. We're going to do it three times in each car. And you can see the line is pretty much in the same place. Pretty much in the same place. Almost looks exactly the same. Again, 160 miles an hour. Let's see where the line is going to come across. I mean, it's 200 meters after the line. And we're basically in the same place, give, give or take a meter or so. So let me know if you can spot anything wrong with my testing methodology. It should be completely equal, but if I'm doing something wrong, let me know in the comments. We're now going to go to our white brand new Hellcat and we're going to apply the racing brakes. You can either do slight brakes or you can do the drill brakes. Actually, when you read the descriptions, they both say that they're equal to each other. Um, whoever this chap is, he's like, yeah, this is the same as drill discs. And when you go to the drill disc, he says, yeah, it's the same as the slotted one. So we're going to apply the drill disc because the carbon uh, brake disc is drilled as well. So these are 10,000 credits cheaper in the less um, kind of less high tier, racing tier, not extreme. They shouldn't perform as well. There's no reason why these should perform as well as the ceramic brakes. But we're going to find out now. Now let's improve the pudding. Now I needed to get the same wind direction or within, I said to myself, a 10% tolerance. That's why I kept exiting and going back in until we managed to get a wind speed that was within the 10% tolerance. Now we'll see again, we're going to be braking at 160 miles an hour. Um, but you can see here, 2.9 in that direction now is 3.2. So there's a 0.3 meter per second difference, but within 10%. So we're going to do the same methodology in the car, go straight up to eighth gear. And then we're going to brake at the 1000 meter line. And it's going to be at 100 miles an hour. What do you think is going to happen, viewers? What have if you bought ceramic brakes like me? You're really hoping this is going to go like 1,300 meters. <laughs> but let us see what happens. Coming up to the line, 1,000 meters breaking now, and we're not flying through. In fact, it looks pretty. It looks extremely similar. Let's have a look back and let's see where that line comes across the car. It's in exactly the same place. So is this a glitch? Is it a bug? Why are these ceramic brakes more expensive and don't have any better performance? I mean, people are going to be... Wait I've been wasting my credits. If you're watching Bought Ceramic Brakes, you've been wasting your credits. And especially back in the day, if you were an OG of this channel, you remember back in the day, like literally a month ago, when the... <laughs> ages ago, when the Grand Tour 7 economy was like really hard to make credits. It was really, really hard. And... You know, these credits kind of will add up over time if every car you get, you're going to apply ceramic brakes instead of racing brakes. And it doesn't make a damn difference. So let me in the comments if you spot anything wrong with my methodology. But basically, don't buy ceramic brakes. I cannot recommend that you go out and buy ceramic brakes. 
And what else out there could be a waste of money? I feel like I need to test more parts now because this kind of feels not right. I, I, don't, I don't know if it's bugged out or... It, they should let us know if there's no better performance, basically. If they just want to look better. Um, it's in that everything else in that shop is a performance part. So I, I struggle with it. But there we go. Hope you enjoyed the video. Really let me know what you think. And I'll see you in the tuning shop refunding my ceramic breaks. I'll see you next time.